escapes to the ocean. Oh. So they came in sort of through, they came in through the Coorong? Not, not necessarily, no. It's just t today, like this is the lowest point um, and the river flows out here. But the coast is lower than here because the land slightly uplifts because of the Kanawinka Fault here. The land just uplifts a little bit. So it's a, it is a bit of a rise. But the uplift was happening gradually. So sea level, as the temperatures warmed, during the Pleistocene, ocean comes in, ocean processes, builds a, a dune, and it's made up, it's a, not a, it's not a silica sand dune, it's a, it's a lime dune, it's made up of, it's a sand dune's made out of limestone, but because all this is an old sea floor, so let's scrap this, so 25 million years ago, this is all the bottom of the sea, the sea re retreats and then what happens between 25 million years ago and the Pleistocene I don't know but then this is all hard limestone and then you start to get the Pleistocene glacial cycle so that brings in sea level you've probably got lots of erosion happening when this is exposed blowing and dust and things sea comes in you have dune building processes and they build the first range which is the East Maricourt range and it's a million years old sea level retreats, it warms up. In the meantime, the Kanawinka Fault slightly uplifting the land. Ocean warms again, expands, we get sea level coming in again, but because of the uplift, it can't reach where it reached before. So the next dune is built here. Similarly again, more uplift, sea retreats, comes back in, another dune is built. And then you get this series over about 13 cycles of the ocean coming in and out, in and out. Right. And Watch so out for the ant. Sorry, yeah, keep going. So then you have these dunes, and then you've got these depressions in between the dunes, which are the swampy lands. So you've got these dune ridges that are redeposited, reformed limestone, and then in these older ones, it hardens up again. So you have a dune, but it's not soft sand anymore, it's hard sand, whereas these are still young enough to be soft sand the ones closest to Robe and the coast. Right. And then, and then you, down here you've got this volcanic activity. So you've got Blue Lake, Mount Gambier, Mount Burr, Mount Shank, a few other things, um, which I don't really understand. Um, and I'm hoping the video today will explain more about the processes that happened in this lower region. And there's obviously something different under the core here, which caused those hot rocks to come up and push up the limestone here into the, these volcanic shapes. So. Potentially something to do with the fault uh, causing some... Well, I don't think so because the fault runs like this and out down into Victoria mm. and it only, like here's Narracourt Caves, it only goes a little bit north and that's not like it runs all the way up and it comes over into Victoria so whether there's some association I don't know. And the fault, I was always assuming it's like uplift or something, land lifted yeah, up somehow. Yeah, that's right. It, it up, yeah. And it, it, yeah, it man, the, the, I can't really explain it because I don't really, I don't understand it, mm, but, mm. yeah. Oh, so from Mount clearer. Shank now, we're not looking in the right direction. And I don't know that we'd see them from the other side anyway because of the, all the pines. Yes. They're really, you know, disguises the land. And it's yes. not like they're massive rises. Because no. they have eroded over time.